As part of my bolt rebuild project, I had to drill out uh, quite a few of these solid 3 16 rivets to remove the seat so I could uh, replace the floor in it. And now I'm at the point in the project where I need to start reinstalling the seats with these solid rivets. You want to use the solid rivets versus just a pop rivet because they make they make a watertight version, but they're just not as strong as the solid rivet. But in order to install this, you need a, a special tool. And here it is on the end of the um, my little air chisel. It has a little concave end that the rivet fits in there. And then you butt it up against a solid piece of metal which I found just using a hammer works well. Similar to that. And then you just uh, hit it and hammer it and it peens the end over and uh, tightens, tightens the uh, two pieces of aluminum, the boat shell and the uh, seat or compartment, whatever you're putting together, nice and tight. To go out and buy one of these tools made for this can run anywhere from, you know, almost 20 bucks up to a set, which is well over 35 or uh, $40. So I'll show you how I turned an old, an old tool uh, like this into this tool that uh, works really well. To get started, you just chuck your old tool up into a drill. It's nice to have a helper to hold your drill steady and then uh, put it in the chuck. And as you can see, it turns nice and nice and uniform. The next thing is, is to take a, an angle grinder. And as you can see, it's got the thin cutoff bit on it, a disc on it. So I like set, resting it on the um, guard there. I'm not going to turn it on and run it, just but just to give you an idea. So all I do is turn the uh, drill on, get it spinning, and then with the grinder, just slowly feed it in there. Take your time. Don't rush it. And like I say, that's where it's nice having a helper to hold the drill. And then you can use two hands on the grinder. And then just slowly feed it in similar to this and as it eats through eventually the uh, this end of the tool will just fall, fall off then you can while the drill still running just smooth the end of it off so it's as smooth as possible and that's the first part of it so once you get it cut off the end here is going to be just flat when you go to use your um, rivet that flat trying to hold that flat uh, tool onto the rivet is very difficult and it's just gonna it's gonna run all over the place it's very hard so what you want to do is make this a little concaved in here now like like many of you i went on youtube and they say Take a drill bit and drill the center of this, and that'll give you a nice concave surface to help hold that bit, or excuse me, the rivet. It sounds good, but uh, I've worked with metal long enough and had a, a metallurgy class to know that most of the time, any bits uh, like chisels and stuff are usually hardened steel or have been heat treated to make them hard so it is very hard to use a drill to make that concave i even tried it on this one and i didn't have any luck i had a drill press short of a lathe and maybe if you had some super bits you might be able to but um for the average person this is not going to work so what I did was to get that little radius that you have here, 
is just use a, a little, here's a air die grinder with a stone tool. Um, if you look at them, they'll, it's kind of like this. Oops, sorry about that. It's kind of like this here, you know, the, the radius there. Another, another tool, and actually the one I used was my Dremel. The same, the same idea. And the beautiful part of this, these little thin cutoff discs on that wear down quickly. So as I started grinding, it, it did, I used about a whole disc. So toward the end, it was much smaller, making that a little deeper pocket. But to do that, all you do is, whether you use your uh, Dremel tool or a little die grinder with a stone, same idea as when we cut it off. Hold it and you got a, the, the person running the die grinder. And this one you can, you can do it by yourself. Um, you gotta focus on keeping it centered in the middle of the, of the uh, turning shaft here. Because what we're gonna do, just like that, turn the drill, get the drill moving, and then you just focus on holding that in the center and eventually it'll grind it out in the middle and as it goes in farther it'll make a little nice little concave surface that'll hold your rivet much much nicer uh, easier to do it's going to be a lot less frustrating than try to use a even if you try starting with smaller bits i've got centering bits all kinds of things and I could not get it to work in this harder, um, hardened steel that the chisels are made of. Grinders are the perfect tool for that. So there you go. Run your die grinder, your drill, and you'll get your nice little convex shape. And then you can uh, start uh, putting your rivets in.